Hey everyone, welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. Last time, we had a lot of emotional whiplash. It was a lot of whiplash. It was too much whiplash. Matthew Mercer called himself Daddy, and then we had an incredibly troubling scene. It was not good. Featuring I, child abuse and just a lot. I feel, so, uh, and then ending with, with two characters' deaths. With and, a double and, murder, and, you're with a double right. murder and Mira laughing maniacally. So I'm... Oh, it was a lot. It was a it lot. Was rough. <laughs> I feel a little bad for Eric now for, for just, you know, tearing into him sort of relentlessly, but we're back with the best team. Yeah, and that's and, all that really matters. And I think I don't want to do gun. You don't want to do gun? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to do the one where five. No, we already did that. Uh, let's do, wait, what, what, what are you feeling, Gina? I do don't have strong opinions here. I think we have a choice between two that clear, that appear to have all three party members and one that doesn't. This, this looks like it, it may not have a phi, uh, uh, which is, you know, let's, something. Let's go with one that has all three party members. Uh, how about the bottom right? This that one. one. Yes. There we go. And begin node or fragment. Yes. Fragment flowchart, go. <laughs> fragment link, go. <laughs> Connected. First come, first saved. D. Okay. First come, first save. That's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going with this? Damn. Won't even budge. Does that mean it's locked? Yeah, seems that way. So that means we're trapped, huh? Where are we? The decontamination room. That's how it's labeled on the map. There are oh. showers in here? Yeah. Oh, no, no, you I don't want to be in here. The contaminants off after you return from outside. No, no, no. Well, in Agreed. the case of nuclear war, of course. Which means there are two exits heading to the surface. Here, and the X door in the lounge. Hmm. They figure it out here too, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. It looks like there's a hall to an elevator outside. I don't see how they're connected on the map, but it must be there. Okay. Then let's escape through that door. How exactly do you propose that- it Looks like it's been welded shut. Maybe it'll open if we push that yellow button over there. Totally. Definitely not just here that it's welded shut. <laughs> then what exactly is it for? Hmm. Should we try pushing it? It's clearly suspect. Better not. Right. 1809. The anesthetic was injected after the vote. Around... 1330. Mm. Oh, wow. So we've been asleep for almost four and a half hours. Dang. No, probably um, not. That might not be true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Zero did say. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your price with will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. I feel like you could feel that. Right. Means we could have woken up and fallen asleep several times since then. But... We just don't remember any of it. Like your wrist would ache the longer yeah. the results of the voting. But maybe it has like a numbing agent or it's something. It's highly unlikely yeah. that C Team was able to survive. Why? You even have to ask? Diana voted against the plan on the note and chose C Team. Okay, so we're in well, that way. Hold okay. up. What are you saying? I thought Diana voted for Q Team. Oh, isn't well, that right? Uh, I'm sorry. I. Well, I. I don't really remember. Yep. What? How is that possible? How could you forget? After the vote at 1330, he told us we wouldn't be injected with the amnesia meds. Right. I remember it exactly. Diana had chosen to vote for Q Team. No! I know for sure that she definitely voted for C Team. Nonsense. You must be out of it. You're the one out of it, you senile old fart. <laughs> Y'all, you're both right. Yeah, but... You're, you're both right. But that does mean that one Wait. of them might be hopping from a different Don't timeline. <gasps> oh fuck, you're right. Jumped? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. One of you, one, one of, of them you jumped. Has, yeah, and they don't know which one, but one of them has to have hopped from oh, a different timeline. Shit. Which means we don't know which timeline we're in. Oh shit. Oh wait, do we have to explain this to Diana? Maybe. What Sigma was going on about back in DCOM? Well, it's all true. Oh. When he was saying mankind would be destroyed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, amongst other things. Did he mean exactly? Do you mind explaining? Even if I did, I don't think you'd believe me. 
It's highly likely you won't even understand. He's also right here. You see, <laughs> the things Sigma and I have been through are, um, complicated and mysterious. Does that mean your consciousness came from the future? 2074? Yes, but that's not exactly right. Sigma oh. and I both originated from the current world of 2028. Our consciousnesses were sparked by a specific event into jumping forward to 2074. We returned to April 2029, where we lived 45 years normally through time. I mean, In January yeah, 2074, but... our two consciousnesses were booted to the past again and essentially ended up at this point in time, Christmas of 2028. Yeah. 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 I have know. a diagram. There's See, a diagram. Yeah, you yeah. Understand. Do you? It doesn't Sigma, have to make sense. You should have that like in your pocket, you like ready to, to go. Believe us. All right, <laughs> like a pamphlet. I know. <laughs> Correct. Have you heard about fourth dimensional time hopping? Why was it <laughs> it's not exactly destroyed. It isn't as if there aren't any Sorry, survivors left. <laughs> but a large number are... Yes, the dead number six billion. Yes. It's all because of Radical Six. A horrific virus that affects the human brain. I love that we picked this after we did Radical quickly worldwide, six. Mm -hmm. and humanity began heading to extinction. The location the virus originated at was the experimental facility, DECOM. That was what we were told, anyway. Hmm. Some of the information appears to be incorrect, though. How so? This is just a guess, but... I think Radical 6 wasn't leaked from DECOM. I've got a feeling it came from this shelter instead. Regardless, mm -hmm. back then we believed it all started at DECOM. So we infiltrated the facility as subjects to prevent the release of the virus. With Akane's help. Akane? She's the leader of a secret group called Crash Keys that wants to save the world. Is that the first Using time the, the name's been mentioned? Assets, no, I think it was mentioned at the server. end of... Oh, it was, altered yeah. altered the original subject list and data. I... I see. I mean, it all seems so fake. I could hardly keep up with all of it. I We're mean, I don't blame you. Yeah. It's true. <sighs> All right, then. <laughs> oh, it's tricky because she's stuck with two people that believe this so like to go certainly back that, like... Yeah. Hi, you said you jumped earlier, right? Yeah. Does that mean... This is a different Phi, possibly? Well, one of it also them, means that, that C team is probably fine. It means that what? Oh yeah. All three groups have voted for different teams. Yep. Oh okay, yeah, okay. C team's fine. Four, yeah. Nine, okay, so we're chronologically that... next. Yes. Zero. Hmm. All right. Well, that proves I'm so glad. which one of these guys jumped. I can say this is an ideal situation for many of us involved. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. <laughs> He's Think pissed. Back. What does that mean? That was really ominous. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that. Well, what's what's creepy is that we're we're stuck in a room, but not a puzzle room. And that's, yeah. what, that's uh, very concerning on a number of yeah, levels. Yeah, that's for true. Um, but, so, what's interesting here, though, is four hours passed between them voting and passing out and then waking up now. Yes. But they, they probably didn't wake up in those four hours because everyone's still alive. That's right. So chronologically, we're going in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. And it also means that there was a big gap there for reasons we don't fully understand. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and it looks like one of these two bounced. Um, fight it. Fi yeah. Fi yeah. Fi fi bounced consciousness. So yeah. this is a different Fi that's with us right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ugh. Which, like, doesn't have all that much impact. But yeah, yeah. That's true. That can't be. 
construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Totally. Pressing oh it boy. activates the showers in the other wards. Oh then no. Break down the solution of hydrogen fluoride. What? Hydrofluoric acid? It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Explaining what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. That button on the wall is your way to freedom. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. Forcing the issue. Mm -hmm. The early bird gets the worm. Whoever presses it first wins. Mm -hmm. it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit is three minutes. What will you do? Will you press it or refuse? It is ultimately all up to you to decide. So if they wait for that three minutes, everyone they dies, go over or do they all get out? Wait, That's the question. Don't. Yeah. I'm doing it to protect you two. <laughs> what? It's not to escape. Of course, I don't want to kill the other teams. But if we don't act, we're the ones who die. It's not for certain. No one pushes it before three minutes are up. But if we wait, all three teams will be killed. The acid will melt even our bones, and all that's left will wash down the drain. Is that how you want to reunite? To hug and cry together in the drain? By then, we wouldn't even be able to see or hold them. Wait, wait, Sigma! Please calm down! How can I possibly do that? Someone on another team could be pushing the button right now as we speak. Just listen, please! And they won't know until three Zero minutes are up. Zero did say that we had three minutes. Well, but right. we don't but know whether they all die or whether they all live. Once the time yeah. limit ended. Yep. She's right. Three minutes is just a space of time. There's still a chance nothing will happen after the deadline is over. Oh. It must mean that we're being tested to see how much we all trust. Please believe, Sigma. Trust the other teams. This is like that scene at the end of the Dark Knight, with the, with the prisoners yep. and the the people on the boat. Yeah, it's like no nobody presses the button. And... But the thing is, again, we have control over everything. <gasps> but That's that true. means that means two things. There exists. Oh shit! You have a timer. Uh, uh. Don't press it. Yeah, I, I put the controller down. Don't press it. I want to see what happens. I can't believe it fucking timed you. Yeah. Oh, that's, I feel like we're about to die. I think we're going to die. I think fucking Q team, for some reason, I picked Q we team. We control Q team. That's true. That's true, but we don't know. But the us happened. in another timeline could have yeah. pressed it. Right. See? I told you, didn't I? None of the others push the button. That's true. We have total so control over everybody in all of this. To cooperate. This is weird. It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. <laughs> right. Which no. means you've yet to learn whether the button has been activated. That's what I was saying. You gotta wait three minutes. What? And when? Then or not. <clears throat> they they won't I get it now. Oh no! Don't tell me we'll be asleep when. Now, well, it's time for you to sleep. When next you wake, know that you will have no memory of these past nine minutes. Pleasant dreams. The face you are making right now <laughs> is incredible. That's so rude! Yeah, it's mean as fuck. That's so rude! It's so mean. I was agape. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's really, it's just awful. That is so rude. I don't want to leave these team yet. We didn't we spend, can spend more time with time. them. Let's, let's spend some okay. more time with them. Um, ha. Uh, Do you want these two? Do you want gun? Do you want <laughs> ambiguous, maybe probably three people? Can't quite tell. Let's do. Let's do the two in the middle. Okay. I'm curious. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> ah, <yee. laughs> we well, should have known that other one was short. It was only like Yeah, three right. That's bits. true. This Here one's we go. spicy. This Let's one is very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> that is an accurate description. <laughs> what is the name of this one? Transporter. Ha. Huh. 
Ah, what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is only two people. Bad. Oh man. Fuck. Um, where's Vi? I don't see her. She could have woken first and wandered off. Sigma, Sigma. Huh? It's after midnight now. What? Tell me the year turned over. It's no longer the year 2028, but... 2029. How long have we been asleep then? My last memory was... ten and a half hours ago. You're talking about the vote at 1330? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. But that Damn. doesn't mean we've only been sleeping, though. Again, yes. We could have woken up several times. You're saying the amnesia drug made us forget. This well, game. Better start looking yeah. for Fi. Oh. Yes, you're right. Oh no, this could be a timeline where she's already dead. Oh. It's very possible that this is a timeline where she's already she's dead. She's already but dead. How, what kills Fi, right? right? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. We're, okay, we're this searching. Bad room. I don't like that room. <laughs> That one doesn't look great either. Oh, is that an incinerator? Looked a bit like one. Didn't like that. Robots. Robots that look unchanged. Huh. Ugh. Hmm. But the the puzzles could reset. That's true. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the last of the rooms. What is this? What? Bye. Where'd she go? Welcome to the transporter room. Uh. Zero. zero. Searching for something. If you'd like to learn the whereabouts, do as I say. Damn it! So, what are your orders? What the fuck? First, I shall explain the room to you. As the name suggests, this room contains a device called a transporter. It was discovered roughly 140 years ago in the year. 1888, at the South Pole, a German expedition was exploring the area. At one point, they became lost, and subsequently stumbled upon it. The device was carefully transported to their homeland, and researched in secret. What they eventually uncovered was the fact that the device was not made by man. Gina, what, what the fuck? From a distant planet, or some alternate world. Or it came from humans from the far off future. That's absolutely possible. The intelligence that created it far surpassed that of humans. Are we really doing aliens? Despite not understanding mm -hmm. how it worked, I mean, we zero figured out what so. it yeah. was used for. This device is capable of transporting things through space time. She was like, I can do That's that. Why it was named <laughs> <laughs> he looks so skeptical. He can't. No. But Akane maybe could. Because there was a dangling plot thread at the very end of VLR about how Alice and Clover had been told by Akane that there was a way they could physically go back in time. <gasps> That's right. Now Am, I think I thought she was talking about I mean now I think maybe she was talking about these things? These transporter things? Mm. Ew! I don't know. I'm just saying that, that yeah, obviously Sigma it doesn't actually know no. how to do it. Sigma can't. He can move his consciousness around through time. Yeah. Um, he can't move his body, but yeah. Like, huh. But yeah. What? This is not necessarily the first time we've heard something like this. However, That's true, but it's the first time we've thrown in aliens into yeah, the Yeah, I was mix. about to say, however, with a big old however... Um, uh, maybe some bullshit. We don't know. And that might be some bullshit. I'm in plot. I'm thinking like, like, you know, like interstellar style. This came from like far off humans and the power of love and the power of love in the fourth dimension. Yes. Yes. Which is love. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I hate that movie so much. I, know you do. <laughs> I don't hate the power of love. 
but I do hate Interstellar I specifically. I have a weird, like, love-hate relationship with that movie, because um, when I saw it in theaters, I fucking hated it, but then it's like... No, you didn't. You loved it way more than I oh, did. Oh, that's true. I liked it way more than you. Yeah, well, yeah I right. hated it, and you were like, no, you... it's good, Gina, and, then and, I, I, and was then like, I was like, I don't know what to tell you. And then I was like, no, actually, it's bad, and then I got mad at it for a while, <laughs> and I was like, you know, not so bad, and I watched it again, and then I watched it again. I, I go back and forth. Every time I watch it, I come away feeling the opposite as I, I did before. All I know is that's the most angry you've ever been with me at in a theater because I true. think I actively ruined the experience. You, yes, you. Yeah. <laughs> you did. You really. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not saying right now. Yes, yeah. you actively. No, ruined No, no, I did. But <laughs> I was mad that you were mad about the movie. <laughs> yes, I think that's why I came away I mad. Think that's totally fair. Because <laughs> I remembered being mad. I was mad at you. Yeah, you were mad at me. <laughs> Flip side of this is we went and saw Jurassic World together, and Fuck. you were furious, and I had a great time yes. because of how furious you, you, you were. were. You were... The movie had nothing to do with oh, it. Oh, the movie was terrible, the, but your anger at the movie was my incredible. Just like <laughs> seething I've rage. Never, you were just like moving in your seat. <laughs> you were so upset at that movie, and it was so fucking funny. I really don't like the new Jurassic World movies. So. I think that's valid. I and I support your opinion really on this. Hate them. But and you got I to would witness. see Jurassic World 2 with you just so that I could laugh at you. I mean, okay, so I actually haven't seen it all the way through. Oh, so you've actually seen some? No, like, the tiniest okay, bit. Okay, I've seen none so, of Jurassic World like, 2. I would love to actually sit down with you so you can Bad watch... Bad movie night. So you can watch me be so mad. Yeah. Let's do it. I love it. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> you were all, all about it until you suddenly realized you'd actually have to watch <laughs> Jurassic World 2. I, I had that realization and my shoulders went you very did. low. You did. You just... All the energy went out of you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway. We've got a little off track here. Yeah, we're just planning a hangout. <laughs> yeah. Now you guys know we're planning a bad movie night. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, transporters. What are we talking about? Okay, yeah, that's right. Aliens. Interstellar. It's yeah. It's much different from what you'd normally expect. If you look toward the back left corner, you'll see something resembling a tree root. I was There's thinking pineapple, but sure. <laughs> and controls its function. And to your right, you should be able to see two objects that look like bats. Can I say something else? Um, not related to Jurassic World or Jurassic okay. World Falling Kingdom or whatever the third trash movie is going to be. Um, it's that Zero is very involved. In Zero this. is very involved. Like, extremely involved. Explains every single encounter. Explains all the encounters and all the puzzles and all of, like, the situations. Well, not- he doesn't explain the puzzles. He's, like, at the yeah, end. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, but- He's which, explaining the puzzle right now. Right, which yeah. is making me think he's a tenth person. Because he's addressed all three- Groups of people, like I think it's possible. I, I mean, I if know. he's truly clairvoyant, then he could have truly cre like pre-recorded it. But, oh yeah, you're right. But like, but <laughs> I mean, there. But they have a they is... have call and response almost. Well, unless he was clairvoyant, he could just plan it all out and be like, I know that they're gonna say this, so I should pre-record it with all of these pauses. Yeah, and everything. yeah. it's tricky because like, Phi in I think it was Phi in VLR said something that I do take to heart, which is like, the second you start questioning everything, it doesn't stop. Right. So it, it, it's not, sometimes it does make sense to just say like, okay, let's just for, for the time being assume he's talking with them. Right. But it is worth saying that, that he, he since he's thrown in the idea of being clairvoyant, it, That's it's true. possible. And what I have learned with these games is that the answer is somehow like, more outlandish than I expected and that I theorized about to begin with. Or, like, it's something that I theorized about and then threw away, or something that I didn't theorize about until, like, way later when I was, like, actually warmed up to how outlandish things yeah, were. Yeah, even when you get it, it's like, it's always, you're always one shy. because yeah, you're like, like, oh, okay. Yeah, cause yeah. Like 999, I remember the first time when I was playing 999, I like tried to count the doors and tried to count the numbers and figure out every combination of people that could go through every possible door. Yeah. And obviously the game punishes you actively for doing <laughs> yeah. that. The game eventually is like, that's dumb and you're dumb. Stop it. And, and you never were going to get it, you fool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry. You, that's not how we want you to play the game. I thought like, you, it, I thought I could do math. Yeah. So um, it's like, 
I feel like the game is always, I don't know, a few levels ahead. Yeah, or, or something. Times. It's just playing on a different dimension. Yeah, it, it's yeah. weird. And I'm just along for the ride, yes. kind of. So, why question anything? <laughs> Aliens. Aliens. And also clairvoyance. What the fuck? <laughs> This game! Oh, man. Okay. okay. Anyway, sorry. Input part. Okay. We input bodies in there? further right. The two objects similar to Crusades are the export pods. In the back is a large container called the material tank. Inside is oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen. This contraption. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Allison's been on a face journey and I hate that you can't see it. She like shook her head and then she put her hand up to her forehead and just like continued to shake her head and then you, you pushed your hair back. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of like, I don't know, physical comedy? I know, and nobody can right I'm like, the only person to appreciate it, which I do, and thank you. I'm really glad, because it's not voluntary. I mean, it's it's involuntary. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is this contraption? <laughs> this it's is got a, a material this pod. This is absurd. Okay, we can continue. And an import and a variety of chemical elements that exist on Earth stored individually. You use it as follows. First, place the material to be transferred into the input pod. We'll call it X to simplify matters. Next, select the location of transfer on the pod console. Pulling the lever will cause the input pod to begin scanning. This scan reads the exact placement of each atom makes up object X. So it can reassemble the you? Mm -hmm. data ah. travels through space-time directly to the transfer point's nucleus. It disassembles that you. Nucleus well, analyze it. Or not. It's my least favorite form of teleportation, which is the you dissolve on one end and are reassembled on the other end, yeah. which means you definitely die, and then a clone that's, of you appears somewhere else. That's what I was else. about to say, is that yeah. actually they kill this body here yeah. and they make another body somewhere I else. I hate it. I absolutely oh. hate it. It's the scariest thing. Because it's not like Star Trek where it's disassembling you and reassembling you. Mm -hmm. It's no. disassembling you. And then rebuilding and then making a new something one. that looks a whole lot like you. And it's like your consciousness better be able to hop on over there. Which, admittedly, in this universe... It probably can. Yeah. Because consciousnesses kind of fly all through space time True. And, and, and space. And if, if being transported in this pod is like a highly stressful, dangerous, painful situation. Then you pop over to the then, nearest. Because admittedly, what your consciousness is doing is basically scanning all bodies that look like yours. And then and it's like, like, all right, that one. I gotta go yeah. to that one. Yeah, this is bad. Gotta go. Yeah, yeah, so it's just like, it's like, oh no, there's nobody. Oh no, there's nobody. Right. This is stressful. There. There we go. And then, poo. Yeah, like, so like in this universe, maybe not nearly as scary. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you've played the game Soma. No, but I like, haven't. But, like, this has been a, a real fret of oh. mine. <laughs> and I realize it will never happen in the real world, but, no. like, Soma fucked with but me. It really messed me up. It's a freaky concept. Because, yeah. like, I mean, theoretically, you could just have your body disassembled and no body to jump, send your consciousness to, and then you're just dead! Well, then, you, and then you, your other body wakes up and it's like, cool. That was great. No, no, I mean, what if there is no other body? And your your consciousness is wanting to get to something, but it can't. See, this no is me body. assuming that your consciousness can't hop, and consciousness doesn't exist, <laughs> <laughs> and and so other body wakes up because it has all the same atoms and the same programming. And the right, same, and then it just is a robot that wakes up. It's like, yeah, that's fine. And then you're like, okay, I'll do that again. I'm over here. It's now. painless. Yeah, yeah. Even I'll get in the transporter oh, again. I <laughs> don't like that. It's horrible. It's the prestige. <laughs> Ah, well, kind of is, yeah. yeah. Hey. Ugh. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god. It's fine. We've gone on a lot of journeys in this episode. <laughs> they threw aliens at us, <laughs> and we, we've had to take our time. We've kind of, through it. like, flown off the handle yeah, a little we bit need, Yeah, we need to get through Zero's explanation. Yes. <laughs> we can't keep doing this. From the material tank to the export pod, and recreate Object X's original form precisely. Yep, yep, yep. Essentially, it acts as an atomic level 3D printer. A massive amount of energy is required to do a transfer. Once a transportation has occurred, 
It takes roughly 10 months to recharge. Holy the shit. The device cannot be used during that time. A variety of objects can be placed in the same pod, however. In order to transfer a human, each pod must only hold one body within it. Two or more people cannot go into a single pod. It is very difficult to recreate individual brains and proteins. I obtained this machine back in 2009. It had been stored in a U.S. research facility. How'd you get that? How'd you manage that? Confiscated mm -hmm. it after the German loss during World War II. It implies age for zero, though. It does. My there is a special characteristic about this device, however. This transporter is not simply a device that allows you to teleport. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. Furthermore, that data travels through space-time. It does not just go to the past or present, but also to other histories. Whoa. Now, my instructions. Currently, no power runs through the transporter nucleus. It is completely stopped. If you are able to restart it, you may obtain that which you desire. I know you'll do your best. Good luck to you. What the, okay. What the fuck? But then we can only transport two people out. Well, it's not even really transporting. No, nope, it's just cut. It's it's creating two versions of you. Ah, it's just a clone. It's cloning. Machine. It's yeah, it's cloning. It's just cloning that also happens to send you into the future. Mm-hmm. Or past, or wherever, into another anywhere, history. Yeah. anywhere in space time. I hate it. I actually it, hate it. But if Whoa. you're gonna die, then it's a way out, technically. I guess it's a way to break the game here, technically, because you can- Yeah. But then also, like, if somebody's, like, about to- like, I don't know, if you- If a room's full of poison- I don't know, it's, it's yeah. tricky. It's really I, hard, because- I wonder if this is how, like, I don't know. If Radical Six happens, this is how Sigma just gets out. Like in that history. Well, that history is interesting because um, we we actually know a lot about it because we know that in that history, uh, five people died, I think, and or something like that, and Sigma lost both of his arms and his eye. True. So we can probably figure out which timeline that bad history is. If Sigma happens to lose two arms and an eye. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, would the this atomic transportation thing transport him out with no arms and an eye? Well, but people got out. Diana got that's out. That's true. Diana got out, too. Right, right, right. Yeah, so you wouldn't need a space-time teleporter to leave in that situation. Yeah. Oh, God, I was just thinking that what if Sigma loses his arms and an, and an eye and then 22-year-old consciousness Sigma hops in like after that happens and he's like oh god I we've, mean that, that is that. what happens yeah, right say, exactly that happened like, at the end of I mean exactly at oh uh, yeah I guess yeah, it doesn't that's the matter end of VLR. when I guess it doesn't matter when that happened it's like that just happens yeah Ugh. we've seen it happen yeah I know I know I'm just I'm thinking about that again and it sucks <laughs> yes yeah, it's, it's really unfortunate it really sucks <laughs> it's like the more you think about it the more you're like wow that was a bad Yee. day for everyone involved bad um, um but yeah okay well uh, What's this? A card? It's you and me, Gina. Oh my god. I just remembered this. I remember this puzzle because I remember in my notebook the scrawlings I made for this puzzle <laughs> were the the ravings of an extra dimensional <laughs> being. Like, it, they were so nonsensical. It looks like I created a language. <laughs> like, oh so god. this will be fun. <laughs> Uh, I, I may be able to wait. find my notebook with these puzzles in it, actually. I would actually really love yeah. to see that, yes. Oh, there's a card here, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Before, there's more shit on the ground here. There's a card over here. Okay, two moons and a card there. There's a card over here. Cool. Awesome. 
any more cards yeah, on the ground? Yeah, there's one over here. Ah, okay. No. Oh, there's See, cards everywhere. That's not everywhere. what I asked at all. Oh my god, there are cards everywhere. There are. There's a card over here. Okay. Two moons. There's a card over there and a card over there. Okay. We're not even gonna look at no, this other we're, shit No, we're getting yet. cards first. Yeah, it's a card over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A bird man. Bird man. Uh, and then there's a pentagram star card. No, sure. it's a pentagram. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> That's what the, the thing said. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. It wasn't addressed at you. <laughs> oh, you're addressing at the game. Yes. Uh, another card. Cool. Three moons. We've got a bunch of three moon cards. Yeah, I definitely have my another notes for card. this. A card. A wind card. It looks like One stream. moon. Moon. Min. I don't know why I said it like Men. that. <laughs> okay. And this is two, two men. humans. Two humans. Two cyclopses. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, there's a card. And a card. So far, I'm enjoying this puzzle. <laughs> it's great. It's just... We pick up cards off the ground. <laughs> yeah. There's a card over here. We just like, Zero says, okay, go. And then we're like, oh, jeez. I know. We're <laughs> like, just like, why'd you do it? Just put them in a stack, yeah, Zero. Right. All right. I Clean think we got. Clean up all the shit. I think we got all the cards. Okay. Unless there's we? one on the There's ceiling. a screen over there with the eye. Not uh, to the right. Yes, yes. Over there. There it is. Uh, place cards here. How about that? It says place cards here. Let's try with this card. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, one of the lights above turned on. Huh? Did the color of this card change? Yeah, it's green now. Oh, okay. I thought it was already like this. No, it was darker, I think. Regardless, we still don't know everything. Let's find more cards. Okay, I'm gonna... God, it... I wish there was a... Okay... There's, okay, okay, okay. There's got... <sighs> I can't believe there's no way to cycle through my items. I just can't believe it. Is there okay. really nothing? It's just... No, there isn't. What if you use the D-pad? Does that do anything? Yeah, it brings up stuff. Uh, what? Yeah, D-pad does... Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> Wait, no, I can't go back. Wait, I can't go back, though. <laughs> It's only one way! You only go one way? It's one way! No way. All right, in that case, we'll start here, and then we'll cycle through. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh my Does it god, work? I Can can't believe Can you go back that. and forth? You can't go back and forth. Okay. Uh, okay. One more light turned on. Maybe we need to turn them all on? That's my guess. I noticed something, too. Placing the card here changes it to a different color. Oh, you're right. Now we can tell which ones we've already done true, but that's all the information we have right now. Let's keep going. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna, we're gonna do this. Okay. All right. Just do them all. You're just gonna do them all? Yeah. All right. I think this is maybe just a way to confirm that you've picked up all the cards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's on. Uh, all right. I... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now they're not even saying anything. Oh, just how many are there? How many times do, must we do this? Damn you, Zero. Calm down, Sigma. I think there's only one more left. Here goes the last card. I wanted him to count it down. Ooh. Oh. Huh? What's that? A book? Let's check it out. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> three, two, For old one, time zero. Yeah. yeah. It's like a hologram of a book. Oh. This is a hologram stereoscopy. Stereoscopy? Wow. Incredible. There's a picture in the air. Is it okay to touch? It should be fine, but why? It is only a picture after all. You can't feel it. I'm sorry. I it's did okay. It again. I don't. <laughs> it's like my mind's like the line's done. <laughs> There's no more useful information here. Maybe you finish reading it in your head. I and think then that's you what happens. It. Is yeah. I'm just like I'm like yeah done. And yeah. then I like, <laughs> meanwhile is so dumb. Like, <laughs> do I have to take my hand off the controller? It's unbelievable. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Isn't poking your hand through a hologram fun? <laughs> Come on, try it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, Diana, good move. Chapter one. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is. This calls is. for no. This calls. Scribbling. Yeah, I was about to say, this isn't a photo thing. This is a, there's going to be too many photos. You They're not even this. showing up on my, look. That's so funny <laughs> that your phone just can't. It can't even no, read it. it's like, that's, that's not something I. Uh, you need the notebook. I yes, I do. Grow, Thank you. I can grab Thank it. Thank you. I didn't want to knock over all of our, our drinks and our phone and nope. our, my switch. It's <laughs> <laughs> I got it. 
Okay. <laughs> Can you grab a pen as well? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I got it. Oh no, my pillow fell down. <laughs> Everything's it's, fine. It's Everything's just fine. a mess. Now I get to draw the little win symbol equals zero. Okay, okay fantastic. Win card. win card. Okay. Or it, win symbol. It's all, it's all the same. Okay. Cool. They're not even going to remark on that. What? What is, oh my God. I see how this, <laughs> I see what you mean, Gina. <laughs> okay, so we don't know what the bird means, but I'm gonna it's draw wild. three birds. Just write, you could just write bird, 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 flower, I curse. Could. I totally could, but I'm halfway through drawing birds. So She's drawing. Do, 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 each, flower. Each and bird. it's a man, behold a man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just Behold, drew a chicken. <laughs> four, four men on the screen here. Yeah, four men. <laughs> no, those those chickens have, have feathers, I think. So yeah, I mean, oh yeah, good point. <laughs> I mean, they could be naked and wearing capes. Allison, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, so... how did I not consider this? <laughs> okay, what? Something's happening over uh, at the nucleus. I wonder what it is. Let's go see. We're okay. here. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh, it's just in the sky. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. And then there's this thing. Are we supposed to put a card there? I'm gonna quickly go over to the wind symbol because it's the only symbol we know, which is a zero. Okay. Isn't this the bracket just about this? Isn't this bracket just about the size of those cards we found? Let's try putting one here. Whoa. Bird greater than. Zero. Yes. Bird. I'm glad that it's, it's, g <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Do you see now? <laughs> yes, I see where this is going. And by the end of this, we'll have a great photo. Also, I freaking love the Yu-Gi-Oh ass. Like, yeah. I summon the wind card and the windy is destroyed by the birdo yeah right great. they like battle here. yeah it's... that's really funny uh what does this mean the symbol we used disappeared maybe it means that the symbol on the other side was stronger yes okay and we battle them in this weird thing what this room is so bizarre it's, it's a can lot. i just I say <laughs> that was okay <laughs> What do we got? Chapter two? Yeah, Chapter that's what two. I was hoping. Oh, oh! An alien civilization that created this transporter utilized 13 symbols, each one representing a number from 0 to 12. Their relationships are as follows. I gotta take a picture. Yes. I gotta try. Yes. Let's see if my phone will recognize. It doesn't. It reads nothing. <laughs> they all just show up as white cards. Oh my god, phone? Wait, hold on. Maybe I can get... Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. Got it. Okay. okay. So some of these just make sense. So moon times moon is moon moon. So that's good. Moon times moon is moon moon. Moon times moon. Moon times moon times moon is moon moon moon. Well, that doesn't make any. Oh, <laughs> no, it does. It's three three moons equals three moons but, times each other. But okay. <laughs> Allison, same man plus two moons equals man. Plus times two moons. All right, so, so that side yeah. isn't really multiplication. It's actually addition. Yeah, well. From what it looks like. But we do need to remember but that then, they are multiplication because that will probably come back to bite us in the butt. My God, I hate drawing the men. Um, <laughs> She's actually drawing them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I didn't want it. We can't take a picture of it. What am I supposed no, to do? You, you got to draw them. Uh, and then was it? Admittedly, all of these are pretty straightforward. Again, it's man like man, man times, times moon. moon is man moon. Yeah, moon two two men is, is two men. In fact, man times man is two men. Okay. And then star times moon is star moon. Okay. How about that? Also, it says alien civilization there. <laughs> so, so, but it's also aliens. this was written by Zero. That so. is also true. So okay. I like the hefty dose of skepticism here because we need Question. to have it. Question? Oh, jeez. What? That? Yes. <laughs> Bird? <Okay>. Anywhere else. <laughs> and, that's, and that's it. That's all <laughs> yeah. we got. Okay. Perfect. So is that enough information to do anything? What's this? Let's let's look around the room. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's explore let's, you know, what's this? a little bit. What's this machine? Do you know Sigma? I don't. It looks fragile. I think something goes into the vertical and horizontal axes. Oh, you're right. 
That means we probably can't use it now. Okay. Okay. I have, a, I have an inventory full of cards. I can hold two more things. True. Um, you could you look. Yep. This locker won't open. I doubt we have to be concerned. It's probably just a change of clothes. All right. Don't bother with that. Okay. There's the the dual monsters thing. This thing. This monitor isn't displaying anything. I think it's connected to the input input pods back there. Do you think it'll power up if we restart the nucleus? Yeah, no, probably. Okay. Can we ob can we observe those things above us? Can, if you, can you click on them and? Okay. According to chapter two, these are marks des uh, marks designating numbers of an alien civilization. Numbers. I wonder which symbol represents which number. Yeah. No. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think I think they are multiplication, like. Like, actually, I mean, you were saying, like, where it's, like, moon times moon is moon moon, but it's actually, like... Yeah, so it's it's bird times bird times bird times flower times man. Yeah, I think... Or they are digits, but they can't be digits because it's one, zero through twelve. Right, but, I mean, we have, we have bird, flower, and man card that we have to put in that, in that order, zero through twelve. Yeah. So... Oh wait. So what are you what are you saying? Like that the thing displayed above is a number because it's. What, what were wait. you saying? You said it's multiplication. What were you? No, no. To? I'm saying that these down here, like, moon, like moon moon, the number representing moon moon is actually it, like whatever. Yeah, it said that on the card. Yeah, I know, but but you were also like, but it's obvious because it's moon times moon equals moon moon. That's all. But it's also like adding. But it's not. It's multiplication. I know. It explicitly said it was multiplication. I know. I know. I know. So. I'm just dreading this. I yeah. guess is what the problem <laughs> what is. What I thought you were referring to is is this symbol because they're all together, the bird, 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 uh, flower, man. They, the question is, are those digits? Is it like one, 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 three, two? Or is it one times one times one times three times two? That too. I, I also yeah. don't know. Oh. To be clear, I was just making up numbers. I don't think, well, eh, how do we go about figuring that out? Um, I don't know. This monitor isn't displaying anything. <laughs> I think it's connected to the output pods back there. Oh, we already clicked on this thing. You already clicked on it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, okay. how do we... Is there something over Well, here? there's another book that we can check. Oh, what there's this thing. What's what is this? this? It's a monitor, right? It's not showing anything. I don't think the machine itself is on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you checked. Uh, output? Uh, yeah, power we'll Okay. Um, I mean, it's the same. Is it the same book, or did I think it's it give us a new book? Keep giving us more. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Chapter three, right? No. No. Oh, it's the same book. No, I okay. think we have to. I think we have to solve something <laughs> before it's gonna give us any more information. Ha, so, great. with that in mind, here's what we're gonna do. Bird is what's currently going against wind. Yes. So let's try moon. Is moon bigger or smaller than bird? Yes. Hmm. Let's try again. No, nope. oh. it's moon against sun. Moon. Moon is greater than sun. Greater than sun. I think we just need to keep doing this. Oh no, it was sun the first time too. Oh, it was sun the first time too. Yeah. Uh, okay. So okay. Well, good. What just good happened. Good the symbols collided together, and the one on the other side disappeared. Does that mean our card was stronger? Okay. Here's the real question: Is it gonna be? sun again or is it going to be moon now that we vanquished the sun oh let's see two let's men see. hmm let's try again two men and bird. bird now okay bird is greater than two men which is also greater than sun okay bird bird is greater okay. than two men and bird okay. is also greater than sun okay all right so bird greater than both two men and sun, it's my ice machine. I'm sorry. It's I know, fine. I know. Yeah, I keep looking at it. Like, what is this noise? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. The problem is I can't put them in order because I don't know if two men is greater than or equal to, or uh, or greater than or less than sun. Sun. And no. we're not gonna know. We're not gonna know. <laughs> not yet. What if I just keep trying two, two men? Two men. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. We lost, but why? Hmm, let's try again. Two men again. Two men. Flower. Two men greater than flower. I like that. Two men? I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. 
All okay. right. Zoom in again. <laughs> okay, I like how you angle, like, you know, oh, not angled it. Again. Was it yeah. flower? Flower versus two men. Is it just random? Two men and bird. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the it, weird it laughed. Laugh. I didn't like it, it. It did it before too. It's only bird and flower. Why though? I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. Sun. And sun. Two men greater than sun. Good to know. Which, which okay. means bird is greater than two men and sun, but two men is also greater than sun. So yes. sun is less than two men and bird. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Great. Perfect. Do we? <laughs> wait. Okay. Do we? Uh, wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a sec. <laughs> How about this? How about we keep smashing cards here next time? I think that's fair. Do you think that's Surprisingly, okay? two men less than a bird. One, one man, man less than a bird. <laughs> wait, one man was less than a bird? Yeah, Is that what I happened? Mean, it's, yeah. Okay. Since we don't have negative numbers, ah, that yeah, was yeah. always going to happen. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Um, also less than. Perfect. Bird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about next time we smash more symbols and- It's gonna take a, a, a dog's age. I mean, we could keep smashing symbols or we could, I mean, do we do this on our own and then say we just we just report in with all the results because it's just a lot of symbol smashing. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't imagine that anyone wants to see us do, man, it's the bird again. The, the problem is it's random. The bird is powerful. If they just cycled through, Ooh. Wait. Hey. Greater, uh, greater it, than? It laughed one again. One man. I think it laughs whenever it wins. It does. So. Yeah. One man less than flower, less than two men. Okay. Nobody wants to hear this. Yeah, we're going to do this off screen. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do this off screen and we're going to take notes and Gina's still going. Oh my God, Gina. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This flower is okay, greater. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. I'm done. It's sun. been a really long episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> This episode has been a journey. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to figure this out off screen. All right. Farewell. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.